Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today I'm going to draw Spawn, uh, requested by uh, Frank Ramos again. Another Frank request. So here we go. It's a portrait close up, um, and we'll get right into it. So we're going to start with his eyes. So what I want you to do is find about the middle of his of your page, and you're just going to start with a simple line, just up like this. And then the eye, very simple, in under there. You just go across like that. And then we're gonna come over and we're gonna do the other line for the top of that, of his eyebrow on the other side. So we curve it up. Maybe we can go a bit further. And then we have his eye in under there. So again, it's just a diagonal line down. And then it comes across like that. And then he has um, those white patches that are on his mask that go around his head. So you could start on both sides. So we can start in the middle. So we, we have like a kind of a sort of a spike. It can be done around lots of random different ways. Just there. You could do another one on this side. And then this one curves around sort of his the bridge of his nose. So it comes in. And then we go down about there and you can do this a similar sort of thing on this side down to about there and then this will start going up up and around his head and his head is kind of slightly turned this way so we can this one's bigger than this one so but it's very easy you just have to make one smaller than the other so we can do we'll do the bottom half of this one first so spikes and you can make this kind of your own style. You don't have to copy the, the exact lines that I'm doing. You can make them more jaggedy or less. So this one starts, so we have this big spike that's down here and then this one comes to his jaw. that comes up beside his face, see that? And then we have a bit of his, eye, his eyebrow just sticking out above that. And then this comes up and this starts to become the top of his head, just there. But before I do that, we'll finish the other side. So we just make it sort of the same kind of thing that's here. And then we go down this way, back in, down to a spike, real fine, sort of pointed spike. And then this one starts to come travel back up, still right there. And then this touches the side of his face like this one. And then this one comes up starts to travel all the way up see that and then we can do the top of his head so we'll just go around try and make it uh, symmetrical as we can travels around keeps going checking and then we join them together and then to finish those white parts that are in his mask we just go up Going all the way around. It can be jaggedy, pointy. It's up to you. Just like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. This one travels up and it goes off the side of his head, goes sort of around the back, and then it'll come back in. Just there. Now, so we'll just do his jaw and his chin. So his jaw comes down from this part of his mask, just there, and then we have the chin, and then it starts to go back up, and doing the jaw on that side. So then you can add maybe some more frown lines just before we move on to the neck. So just some sort of, make him look sort of like he's frowning. So just some lines that are just Describing maybe some of his eyebrow that's underneath that mask and all those wrinkles that he has. And some more here. You could put some more sort of underneath his eye as well.
another one around his eye. Maybe just some more in there. You could keep going, adding hatching lines or little marks all over his mask, but his mask is mostly black anyway. So you probably wouldn't see a lot of those lines. There's a line for jaw under there. You'd see most of them on the white part of his mask. But some around his head. That, just describing different things. Anyway, neck. So, the more you see, the more you have to do. <laughs> you keep going for ages. So, his neck comes down, real thick neck. Comes down from just his jaw there. See that? And then come just curve back in. Just like that we can go over to the other side and do the neck on this side this one goes slightly higher because it's attached to the back of his head just there we can see a bit more of it just like that and then he has this big cape that goes like all around his head and it touches comes in here and touches some of these lines for his neck so you could do that first like that And then this one will travel down just underneath his chin. So it comes down this way. That comes back in there. And then we have one that comes down in here. Comes down to his collar here. Goes in this way. And then this will come up around his head. So you can do this many different ways. But we'll keep Keep, try and keep it simple and we'll go all the way up. So we'll just go up, keep going. And up off my page there. One side. And this will come back around his head. So it's like a line that comes back around here. And then it'll, imagine it kind of keeps going. And it comes back up around the other side. Goes up this way. And then I'll meet another pointy bit that goes right up. Of course, if you have more room in your page, you could keep that going. You could make it as big or as small. Some people have them. I've seen drawings where it's small, some where it's big. And this will keep going all the way down here. And then curve around. Come back down in there. Then you have an inside section in here. And then maybe we can see just the top of this part, just like that. Now, so we can just see some lines for muscles of his neck, just like this, just in there. Some here. You could add some hatching if you'd like, anything like that. And this will come to his shoulder. More muscle lines. And maybe another one here. Just some lines in here to show sort of collarbones and like the start of his chest muscles and things. Now, so this cape comes down, so it comes down all the way down here and it meets these chains on two skulls that are kind of on his chest, sort of that's tying his coat together, or his cape together, should I say. So there's one skull here and another one here. So I'll just, I'll finish this cape first. So we have a line that comes down this way, from the top of that cape, and then this one curves around, goes up, and then goes up off my page there, and Imagine it travels around if you if your page kept going and it keeps coming back up that direction. We might have a bit of a shadow in on that side just in there. Right, so those skulls. So you just have 
Um, they're sort of simple kind of skull shapes, so you just need to draw in their eyes first, so like an eye in there, sort of shade it in, move the one here, shade it in there, and then there's the nose, dots, and it just has sort of these frown lines just there. And then this comes up, sort of goes around in a head shape. So just come back down around. So they're like bones for the, the jaws. And then this will come down and we have teeth sort of here. and things on. And then there's another skull over this side and it's kind of half hidden underneath this cape. It's like the cape is coming down on top of it. So imagine the cape, so the cape travels down this way and then the other skull is kind of half under here. So you just do like a round bit for the top of the head and kind of like here sticks out for that jaw, comes back around, and then it comes down into those, that teeth part. Comes back up underneath there. And you can just do some eyes just in there. So like a frown line there, maybe another one, just a small one in there. shapes for nose and then you could add some texture lines on that like we did the other side some lines around the eyes again if I'm going too fast you can slow down the video so these two boys are joined together with chains so anyone who uh, watched the uh, Ghost Rider video that I did um, it's kind of similar sort of thing so you gotta start with one link of a chain so it comes out from here one line like that then this will curve in and it'll go back up towards this guy's teeth and then we have the next link will start in here so this one will curve down like this and then we get outside of that chain curves up underneath and we have another link that will be in here. So it's kind of like this. And this one touches that one, starts to go this way. Like that. And this, of course, will touch the next link. There's three more that come up this way. But we have to finish this one first, so it curves around there. Like that. And then there's the underneath of this one. Chains kind of seem complicated, but once you get the hang of them, they're, they're not too bad. They're kind of just hooked, hooked together like that. Uh, so yeah, next link just comes up here. Comes in around like that. It's the underneath side of it. So imagine they're just kind of fingers just hooked like this. one curves up from that one you can see the back side of there and this one and it comes out the other side curves up at this one this one comes in to the inside like that and then we have the next link comes up from this one they're kind of touching it's kind of twisted In. 
and then it goes in the next one finishes at the skull on his shoulder here so it goes down like that let me just have a line in there and then two more lines to finish the chain just in there now so all this all this down here is just like fold lines for clothes so you can see the top of his shoulder just there and then the rest of his cape sort of the top of that comes up goes up around around his head and we have just some lines just in here and then these are all so four lines going towards the middle of his body just to show some clothes some four lines of those of that cape that he has so just doing them in various directions kind of imagining how they're all folding down and stuff and these ones will go back up towards the shoulder a bit again some more just on his collar And you can add shading and color or anything you want to, you know, like hatching lines, kind of like this. And of course his eyes are green and his mask is really dark. Like I've seen him colored really dark gray or mostly black. You could do it like mostly in shadow, depending on how dramatic you wanted it to be. So like, for example, we'd, there'd be some hatching if you're interested at the back of his head sort of in that red cape that he has the back all here would be mostly in shadow so adding those sort of hatching lines like that you could do some maybe over this side too very dramatic shadows on them usually Cape. Some more sort of hatching lines. Of course, the more lines, the darker it will appear. So that's the basic idea, there he is, Spawn. Thanks for the request, Frank. Of course, you can color in his face black, um, and his cape red, and his eyes that green color. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching as usual, see you again in the next one.